Hello there, and welcome to Black Pig Printmaking Studios here in Froome in Somerset in the UK. My name is Chris Pig, and today I'm going to teach you about how to register a print. Um, as an undergraduate, I thought I knew it all because I'd already been a printmaker for four years already, printmaking student and uh, eschewed any kind of advice of any kind um, about technical stuff, mostly a grudgingly let a little bit in because I was so proud and so um, arrogant and young. <coughs> um, and one of the pieces of um, information that got through, which has helped me to this day, was given to me by the technician. By the way, if you go to art college, it's the technicians you want to be in with because they'll show you how to do stuff and that's the coolest thing about being there. Um, yeah, this te technician, Tony Hunt, taught me a quick way to uh, on how to register a, uh, a print. Now, I'm not talking about Kento or Turburton or whatever it's called, um, multicolours. I'm just talking about you with your block placing it in the middle of the piece of paper it's got to be on. It's simple professional practice. When I was a student, as a student anarchist, I thought it was the most unbearable kind of um, importunity. It was uh, it, you know, on, my, on my creative instinct. Silly fool that I was. Okay, so this is the technique that Tony Hunt taught me. First of all, the thing you've got to understand about space about spacing your print is it's got to have an equal margin top and sides and longer at, bo at the bottom. Why is this I hear you quiz? Well thank you for asking and the answer is because this is where on the print your additioning information will go. So if say for instance you, uh, you bevel mount it or, or mat it as the Americans would say you want about a centimetre top and sides and a centimetre and a half at the bottom. So you see the logic of it. Sometimes it's okay to have the border the same top and sides and bottom. That can work. But any other configuration just looks awkward and not in a good way. I'm all about placing my pictures in in an asymmetrical asymmetrical kind of um, situation all the time, you know, because it offsets and, and you know gets the edge. But when it comes to um, to margins, d d don't muck about with that. Um, you can try all you like. It's just such a such an obvious tried and tested formula. Anyway, so here we go. What you do is you get your block, not inked up, obviously. And you put it to the very edge of the of your bed sheet. The bed sheet is, of course, is the same size as the as the sheet of paper you'll be printing from. This will become obvious in a short while. Then you get yourself a piece of waste paper. I love this. I love little simple solutions like this that save you time. And you put it to the edge of the block like that and then you mark the edge of the paper, the edge of the bed, the edge of the bed sheet. Then you fold that piece of paper over and fold it in half up to the mark you've made. And that, my dears, is your equal margin top and sides. Aye. Thank you. Right, so, quick mark here. It's 30 degrees outside today, that's why I've got my jacket off. No, inside actually. 30, um, mark here and mark here. Simply, I always love that prefix, slot your block into place against those marks you've made 
and Roberto is tu tío. Bob's your uncle. Voila. That is exactly where you want it for when you're printing. So when you're printing, you plonk your block down, hopefully inked, I hope you've remembered to do that. And then you get your piece of paper that is for printing. In this case I'm using chip paper all round just because this is their demonstration and I'm not going to waste good paper on that. Uh, and then you very carefully line the printing paper on top of the bed sheet and then very carefully lay it down. And once you've laid it down you place your hand on it there and there and what this does is it ensures that before you print that the ink is adhered to the paper that it's printed going to be printed on um, and so it won't ghost at all. There you are. That's how to register a print.